Hi guys and welcome to a segment I'm calling Wacky Okay, now I know I got some explaining to do. Okay, so I talked with my brother after I did this, and he watched apparently more Let's Plays than I did, because he knew about a little tiny thing that literally changes everything. So I'm going to show that with you guys. This will be a really fast recap of what it changes, because this can actually happen in the real game. Okay, so let's begin demo like normally. Loading, 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 load, loading, loading, load. <sighs> Excuse me, just had dinner. Hmm. So this pretty much changes almost everything. Also, I did find a couple things I missed uh, last time I went through. So let me just, you know. Oh, my mouse isn't on. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay, good. So let me clear some stuff away, because my brother's been using this desk lately. Come on. Move. We've been clearing out the basement space, and yeah. It's not the best. Okay. So, this game, the demo itself, was created by a company called... I'm going to correct this in annotations or text on screen or something. Uh, but I believe it was called Galactic Cage. Again, I'm sorry if I botched the name. Um, here we are, Stanley Parable. Okay. But the thing that really changes everything, the game, the original game concept and everything, well, not the game concept, the game itself, um, and they partnered up with this um, demo, is from a company called, I'm sorry I'm turning the sound down, but it's a little loud, is from a company called Face Punch. Now, if you've played the actual game and know about this, you know what's going to happen. So, if I type the name Face Punch while I'm running the game, F-A-C-E-P-U-N-C, -E and watch what happens when I press H. Cool, huh? This image you're seeing right here, here's, here's a good representation, except it's a bit whited out, is the Face Punch logo. When you type in Face Punch, it reloads every texture as the Face Punch logo. Here's another good representation of it. Right up here is the Face Punch logo itself. This makes stuff go a little weird. So, uh, yeah. So while I'm doing this, uh, how is every... If you haven't seen yet last week's Wacky Wednesday, please watch that. Welcome to the Stanley Parable, Parable Demonstration. demonstration. When your, your number, number is 28. 28. When your, your number, number is displayed, displayed please, please enter the demonstration room. room. Thank, Thank you. you. And have, have a fun demonstration. demonstration. Yeah, finally these things say something. Okay, well, show something. And of course, to turn it off, you just type the same thing in. F-A-C-E-P-U-N-C-H. Here we are. So let me turn this back on. Here we are. This will happen every time you type face punch in. It'll either turn it on or turn it off. All right. And you can sort of hear, you heard him for a few seconds. That was the narrator humming. For whatever reason, he only shows up at a specific portion, and I'm not quite sure when. Oh, hello, hello, also, hello. Also, if you get Welcome too close to, to the, the screen, Stanley this shows Parable up. live demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease. Just enough to leave you hungry for more. How so I'll be turning that on and off uh, many times. Nervous tension? The 
looming uncertainty. Why don't we also? I'm going to make it a little bit Just different than last time. So. Like Please, cutting off stuff and making stuff don't a little bit longer. Okay. Anyway. Simply remain motionless and let the I'm thrill gonna move of around. I'm gonna move around. I'm going to move around. I'm going to Oh, I get it. You're too anxious. You can you barely guess? hold still. Well, tell you what. I think we should walk off that nervous energy before getting the demo underway. Here, why don't I take you on a little tour of now the facility? Now, that's the only thing that doesn't go face we make much. a demonstration for a game like the Stanley Parable. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, Here we are. how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. I have to press Video A game to demonstrations um, are tricky, and without the proper punch, technology, so that's why you run the risk of the player having no over idea what bit. to expect in the full version. Oop, 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 I missed that up. Face. No, 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 no. P, you come. P, become comes before you. Face punch. Here we are. Out of context, that sounds really weird. Okay, moving on! Okay, let's head this way. Now, the buttons look a little glitched because the textures ah, have been reloaded. Here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Normal. Didn't you know that? Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press, and we'll Face see punch mode. what your choice says about you. Okay, so you know, guys, get the deal. No matter what I do, How it's gonna do the. I selected that one, that not that one. Four percent of all Never people mind. who select, select that, that particular, particular button are sexual, sexual predators. predators. You see, our choices really do illuminate the Even very intangible the nature, nature of our, of our minds, minds and souls. souls. Yeah. Okay. Here. I am. Okay. What else can I show you then? You can show me face punch. This is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. Not even the face punch, which is actually in the real game. Uh, you can do this in the real game as well. Now, this is what I meant to show you. You see, you'd barely ever notice it in regular mode, but in face punch, it just seems to. Oh, sorry. Face punch. It just seems to scream at you that something is over here. But if you go over here... Here is where there is nothing. In the main game, however, there are many more places where there is nothing. If you've enjoyed this experience of a finite amount of content, then the Stanley Parable may be just the game for you. Um, that would be any game. I can't think of a single game when there's, in which there's infinite content. I can think of random, but not infinite. The, everything has One a value. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. I'm gonna skip this. Okay, moving on. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Interesting. And on these boxes over here, they are face punched as well. Face punch! Face punch! I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to do a. Oh, and if you go in here again. No. No, we've already seen this room. If it saves you the trouble of pushing another button, I can assure you that you're still a pervert. Thanks a lot. Okay, now if we head over this way. No, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead, give it a shot. Now, unfortunately, it does not change in here. Also, it does not change that you... Now, oh. hmm, guess it's still in development. Oh. But, okay, moving along. I still hurt myself on that. Why do I do How's this? How's the anticipation? Still feeling it? No. Like last time, I lost it a long time ago. Now, here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead. Step into one of them and feel the sheer power now, I don't of know what's narrative in these two. exposition. Now, now, we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Now what happened, now you'll remember that he, he complimented us on going in both booths. So what if we just walk out? 
Ah, no, I get it. Can't risk experiencing emotions. Well, I must say, I have a certain respect for you and your cold, unfeeling husk of an existence. Thanks a lot. Let's see, did I go in all these? Let's see, that, that, button and choice, wall technology. Yeah, I went in all of them. Except that out of order, unfortunately. Okay, here we are. Now here's what I don't understand. The wall technology, sure, I, I understand. Well, no, the wall textures I understand. But there's light down there. But once I turn face punch off, there's no light. So what's the light? Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective. No! What are you doing? What? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't yeah, played the demo. Yeah. We've put so much work into this demonstration. I'm gonna try and shame cause if you rushed him to right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it, and there you have it. <laughs> you need to know without about savoring it, and there you have it. Made. However, it's still important and to the dance perimeter is still concerns. there. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects. And you'll notice there was used to be a panel. table here. If you agree to be held 100% responsible, not for playing a demo repeating yourself, damage, not playing a demo repeating yourself, uh, being better than other demo, people, loving yourself just as you are. I don't have any disagreements. It's like, where's the red of No objections. This is sort of red. Nope, that didn't work. Well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Let's see if I Please walk too closely. into the dance perimeter. Please perform a dance. Same dance as before. Your dance has been recorded. In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. immediately. Right. All, All preparations are being made. It, it is time at last. last. Are, you are you prepared for the Stanley Parable? Love it. Also, it changes here, too. Face. Punch! Punch every individual light bulb texture. Oh, and that too. Ah. And this huge sign was just warped out. Okay, so moving around through here again. Oh wait, what? What are we doing Welcome here? To Did the we not? Family. Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. Okay, now here's what I figured out. What happened? Now here's what I'm thinking. What if you wait till past okay, your number? Okay, you know that no one is checking numbers, right? You can just go. go. You could do it right now, no, literally no, right this second. second. I, don't I don't know how no one, one ever figures this out. out. We, we could, could be, be back, back at the demo, demo by this time. time. Are, are you, are are you, you enjoying, enjoying this? this? Watching numbers tick down slowly. Well, please, well, please don't, don't let, let me stop you. you. If somehow you're associating the joy of this room with the joy of playing the Stanley Parable, then by, by all means, continue. The full version of the Stanley Parable contains all the ecstasy you are now experiencing and so, so, so much more. Yeah, yeah, I know. We can move on now. The, the demo. demo. Not quite, Mr. Narrator. You have to make this official. You're going way past our number. My goodness, this room really means something special to you, doesn't it? Is it a connection? A spark? Something between you and this room that runs 
deeper? Well, I, well, I have to say, I, I'm really quite moved. You know what? Go ahead. Take your time. I'll wait. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Oh, it's punch. Falcon punch. There we are. Face gun punch. There we are. Okay, here we go. The Stanley, Stanley Parable, Parable demo take, take two. two. Finding the, the demo, demo, learning exactly, exactly what the Stanley, Stanley Parable is. Here it here comes. It comes. Stand by while we've changed to face punch mode. Ta da! You guys have seen this room before. You know what it's supposed to look like. Oh, wait. What's this? Eight. Eight. No, wait, numbers. wait, wait, wait. wait. It's, this is all wrong. This isn't the Stanley Parable. Eight. This is a game where you press a button and it says eight. Not only is the Stanley Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight, I can guarantee that this button does not appear anywhere in the main game. Eight. Why is it here instead of the demo for the Stanley eight. Parable? Where did the demo go? Eight. There was an actual demo here before. Eight. Something has gone wrong. Eight. It's all gone horribly wrong. Eight. We need to get you out of here before you start forming impressions of the Stanley all Parable right, all right, based I... on whatever the hell this eight game is. We need to get out. We need to start over. You mustn't stay here another minute. Out, 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 out. 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 Go, 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 go. Imagine if this had been the demo. What would you have been thinking? You'd have left with no idea what the Stanley Parable is about. None whatsoever. All right. So where shall we begin? From the top again? Welcome to the yes, Stanley Parable. Yes, yes, yes. We heard it all the first time. Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. When you sit down to play this demo, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you caused us to encounter the eight game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty it's safe assumption that, that you, you had, had something, something to do, do with it. it. At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you've made in playing this demonstration, as well as your lack of respect for demo taking in general. Sure. They had to construct a black room. That's literally Wonderful. what they did. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all no on the same legs, page again, I feel ready room. to attempt That's the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, attempt we, we shall, shall truly, truly come, come to understand, understand the meaning of the Stanley, Stanley Parable. Parable. Let the, the demonstration, demonstration begin. begin. Ah! Thanks a lot, narrator. Thanks a lot. Moving on. Um, somebody turn on the lights. What? No, 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 no. It can't be over yet. Go? You didn't see anything. Everything that was supposed to go. demonstrate why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do. Anything. The demo cannot end like this. It, ah, hurry. Hurry. This way. Dad? I really wish you would stop doing that. Just because I stand next to the door doesn't mean okay, you open it in my face. Yes. This is new. This is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about this cup? Yes. Go pick up the this cup. This really bad, warped out... As far as textures go, cut. All right. Sure. Now put it um in um, the warped texture in the bin. bin. You did it. You won. You know what you get for winning? An achievement. Wow. There the it Stanley is. Parable There's just keeps getting better and better. In fact, let me take a little survey of your experience. Based on what you've played so far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? Oh, <gasps> there's fire! B B B. You responded. What a clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. Well, while he's thinking you that, really do I'm get dead it. You understand? Oh, I was so worried. <laughs> I just wanted yeah, you to know what yeah. I see in the Stanley Parable. What I think makes it 
Well, special. It's so very difficult to put into words. Oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end and the final choice. All right. Face punch mode. Falcon ending, ending, punch. where are you? Where are Falcon you? Falcon face. Falcon. What am I trying to say here? Is this Is it? it? <laughs> yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to be. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. Oh, and it all comes I to get this. why there's light down there. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much because is at stake. Because every single light was depicted by black tiles. And then when the black tiles switched textures, it suddenly became white. That's why that happens. Ah. For people who have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, there's a little thing called models, which is the general shape in which the object will appear in, but the computer has no idea what it will look like. That's where textures come in. It will wrap the image around the texture. In fact, if you take a texture and unwrap it and it's a round object, it'll look very weird in the actual um, real file. Usually a texture can be any kind of file format, but, well, I never really taken game development class. I'm only telling you what I know, and I don't really know much. Just the basics. Here we are. So do you like the Stanley Parable? Well, I don't know which side is which, so let's go with the left, because I'm left-handed. Is it working? I... Are you sure? You sure you press the button? What? No. We finished the demo. Did it start again? Hello? Hello? Is, is anyone, anyone there? there? They, they already, already finished. finished. They, they said they, they liked it. it. They I need, need someone, someone to stop, stop the demo. demo. Hello? We need to go back. We need to get out of here. Oh, no. What's going on? Where is everyone? Okay. Over to the left. left. Down this way. Oh, nice and quiet, finally. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, haven't I? I'm just going to do the outro My job was to be a teacher. Punch, face punch and I so badly wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but, but somehow I couldn't. Uh, yeah, well, at any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable anymore. Do you think any of this is actually in the main game? Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, no more demonstrations, no more endings. That's the other problem with this game, there's too many bloody endings. I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration, ah, oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion, just a blank slate. Yes, that's what I want. A game of beginnings. Hey, <laughs> do you remember, just a few minutes ago, when we met for the first time, and I showed you the technology used to make the demo, because I thought there actually was a demo. <laughs> was no <laughs> Oh, we were so naive back then, how little we knew of the world. And then, when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you'd already done that before... Yes! It's all so fresh in my memory. They were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won, and then we kept wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere, and we just kept climbing and climbing, flight after flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? And we just kept going and we found that elevator and it said escape on it. We talked about it for a while, about how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape, but that it seemed worth a try, and at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside and we rode the elevator up and up and up. We had some sense that the end was coming, but we couldn't possibly know when. And then after so long, it finally stopped, and we stepped out into the lush outdoors, the trees, the wildlife, the sun rising on a new and glorious path. 
freedom. We were free. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? Wasn't that moment so singularly, piercingly beautiful? We were free. I had to turn it off face punch for a brief second because otherwise it didn't look right at all. Now, unfortunately, it does not happen on the main menu. I've tried it like five times. Face punch! Face punch! Face punch! Nope. Well, <laughs> well, this is the end of the video with 27 minutes. Jeez, this is like half the time of the original video. Well, actually, half the time would be... What would be half the time? Let's see, 45 divided by 2, uh, let's see, that would be the same as 30 divided by 2, that's 15 minutes plus another half of 15, half of 15 is roughly 17 and a half, which would make it 15 plus 7 is 22 and 30 seconds. Okay, so almost half, but not quite. I'm, I'm off by a few minutes. Hmm. So anyway, this is it for another Wacky Wednesday. Again, as I said in an annotation, but I wasn't able to say on recording because I forgot. This is not going to be every Wednesday. The, because I'm getting into a really wacky weeks in the ne next couple of weeks. I Starting next week, I'm doing ACT prep. And, and I'm also in a show at the same time. And, well, while I have enough videos to last me till March, I don't have enough Wacky Wednesday videos. That's all I want to say. So, yeah. Also, please comment below um, what Wacky Wednesday videos I should watch play next. Like, I don't know, Flash games, a really short game, a particular demo you want me to play. I don't know. It just something. Um, anything on Steam I'm up for. But uh, please keep the list off shoot 'em ups. While I respect your opinions as gamers, I really don't like those games. I only have a few exceptions to that genre list, and it's a really small list. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's if it's first person and you use a gun, it's pro I probably won't like it very much. If it requires three directional pads, I'm probably not going to like it. If it requires two, that's another problem. Uh, but there are exceptions. Portal, for one. I love that game. Also, I would like to use this video as an announcement that because of my transition of, because I'm transitioning everything onto the laptop, I am not able to cre recreate the save file for Need for Speed, which means that series has been totally, completely canceled. It has been my longest running series. Nobody liked it. I'm not even halfway through the game, and I hate it. I know that's a strong word, but I really did not enjoy it. I tried to spice up the commentary as best as I could, but what can you do for a racing game? Truthfully. I mean, even Mario Kart is more impressive. 
Well, actually, that's that's not too bad. I mean, Mario Kart's better than almost all the racing games, in my opinion, but that's just me. I'm still working on getting my Wii connected up. I'm... <laughs> Here's what I found. I found a splitter for for the standard yellow plug video. I found a splitter for that, and I found a splitter for the audio cables, but I've not been able to find them together in one pack. Can anyone tell me if that technology even exists? Because the box I have only connects up to the computer, and it does not have an outgoing that's in a regular RCA plugs. Because that's what I'm working with. I, I don't know what to do. I guess I could play with my laptop as the display, but this this laptop is, well, even though it's a 17-inch, I don't think it's going to work very well, because I'll have to have to re have the recording footage over there, and I'll have to have this over there, and then I'll have <sighs> You guys cannot imagine what a mess it is down here. Uh, plus, we've been cleaning out the basement, and then my brother's organizing his Pokemon cards. It's just a mess down here. I, I do, and my life is getting so busy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just ranting at this point. Oh my goodness, I'm just babbling. But I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It, it's getting really busy over here. Uh, I'm having trouble being able to do stuff. Uh, it's getting just getting harder and harder for me to do stuff. But I really do love the feedback I get from you guys. As little as it is, I love to get feedback. Whether it be bad, negative, or good. I I don't care what I get. Um right, as I was saying, this was this demo was created by Galactic Cage, I believe it was called. I'll correct that later. Um and the um and the game was created by Face Punch, and if you type Face Punch in, you'll get the effects that you showed, whether you're in the demo or the actual real game. And if you're playing this off some kind of console, which I cannot imagine how you're doing, um, I I don't think this was released for any kind of consoles. I think PC was the only game it came system it came out on. Uh, I'll double check that because uh, I don't even think it's on Linux or Mac. Jeez. How limited was the uh, service? Um, wow. I just talked myself with five minutes. Uh, I really got to end this, guys. Uh, I don't know how to say goodbye. Well, there. You just said it. Goodbye. And... Why is the polar vortex coming back? Yeah, I live in that area. And it's horrible. It's negative two out there. It was negative 20 with wind chill while I was walking to school. Well, actually, I drive there. Well, my parents drive me there. But that's, that's not the point. And why am I continuously... You know, if I keep ranting like this, I'm going to make it exactly the length of the last video. That's not good. So, Bram, shut. Shut. Just close your mouth. Stop. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, that's, that's muffle speak for goodbye. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I know I'm a big ego when I say that, but it really helps. You know what I said in the last video. Why is time such a relative term? Bye!